Hi, welcome to Sports Talk Weekly. With Todd Howard, I'm Rick Roberts. Barack Obama has picked the LA Lakers to win the NBA Finals in six games. And if he bets enough money, he might even be able to bail out GM. Game one of the finals went to the Lakers due to Kobe Bryant's dominating performance in which he put up 40 points. He single-handedly forced himself on the Magic and unconsensually had his way with them. There should be a word for that. Injured point guard Jameer Nelson returned for the NBA Finals after being out of action since February 2nd. Apparently, Orlando's magic also extends to its training staff. A doctor has published an essay claiming Lamar Odom's massive consumption of candy is to blame for his erratic play. Who knew that all the Lakers' losses could be blamed on fun dip? TNT's ratings for the Eastern Conference Finals rose by 37% from last year. In related news, viewers' use of their mute buttons rose by 83% every time Charles Barkley opened his mouth. Jabba Chamberlain pitched eight innings for the first time in his professional career. He could have pitched all nine, but he wanted to be first in line for the post-game spread. The New York Yankees are claiming taxpayers would face more than $5 million in document costs if the team is forced to provide internal records sought by lawmakers. Who do they have preparing their documents? Bernie Madoff? Kobayashi outlasted Joey Chesta in a pizza eating contest by consuming five and three quarter pizzones in a six minute span. On the positive side, Chestnut did win the subsequent heartburn and diarrhea competitions. The contents of a storage locker belonging to three time WNBA MVP Cheryl Swoops were just auctioned off, unbeknownst to her. It's still unclear whether or not Swoops is entitled to a portion of the $5.35 that the auction generated. Fred Tarkenton thinks what Brett Favre put the Packers through last season was despicable, but it was nothing compared to what he put Jets fans through. Favre reportedly had surgery this week in order to attempt a comeback with the Vikings. In related news, Viking fans are canceling their season tickets at a record pace. The Day Matthews Band and Fish played at Fedway Park last week. Fish won 6-3. Tom Hicks is willing to give up control of the Texas Rangers. That seems fitting since his pitchers gave up their control long ago. Cardinals catcher Jason LaRue was nearly trampled after taking the field in the middle of Miller Park's infamous wiener race. We always suspected too many hot dogs could be hazardous to your health. Stefan Marbury has expressed interest in remaining with the Boston Celtics. Frankly, we won't truly believe he's committed until he gets a team logo tattooed on his forehead. The Thunder are planning on drafting James Harden. You know, if it weren't for the NBA, no one would ever move to Oklahoma City. Former Cy Young Award winner John Smoltz struck out six batters in a Class A game. Mind you, the groundskeeper struck out seven. Mindy McCready has agreed to start vh one Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. Anyone who survived a relationship with Roger Clemens should have no problem breezing through rehab. A New York Mets employee has been stricken with a case of the swine flu. That's what he gets for hanging out with Gary Sheffield. And now it's time for What the F. What the F is with the Stanley Cup Finals being aired on Versus? I mean, come on, I couldn't even find the freaking channel on my cable box. It's buried between the Lifetime Movie Channel and Al Jazeera. I don't want to spend more time looking for a game than actually watching it, especially the effing Stanley Cup Finals. Versus has absolutely no clout with anybody. They even got cut off during their post-game wrap-up. Pittsburgh at home gets the victory. Guys, uh, they're making an announcement that we have to leave. They're going to turn the lights out, so again, oh, right. yep, we're out of here. Right? Right. You think that would happen to the worldwide leader or Fox? No effing way. Gary Bettman should go back to doing vaudeville or Eddie Munster impersonations and hand over the reins to someone who has some freaking integrity, like Rick Tockett. That's going to do it for tonight with Todd Howard. I'm Rick Roberts. Good night, you bastards.